Hello YouTube and welcome. I am Windraiser and I'm coming to you with another Transformers review. Today I'm looking at Transformers Dark of the Moon, Sentinel Prime. And I'm doing this because he was voiced by my favorite um, actor slash voice actor, um, Leonard Nimoy, who recently passed away and when I heard of his passing, I was, like, really devastated, because he was, like, one of my favorite, favorite guys. He was a voice of Spock, he voiced Sentinel Prime, and he also voiced, um, uh, the original Galvatron. So, give me one second. I don't, do, 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 do. I don't know why I don't prepare for these things. Yay, and everyone gets to see my craziness. Okay, so, um, he can, his, uh, big look, so the giant cannon that's on top. He actually is a Rosenberg Panther 6x6 airport fire truck. So, hence the fire rescue. Uh, there's his Autobot logo. Very. Well, you know what happens in the movie. <laughs> um, he does have a little fire hose right here. A little tiny thing. Very tiny. Tiny hose. Um, this does go up and down. You can move it back and forth. It does rotate. Um... Eagle mode does roll very nicely. I like his colors of black and red. I'll give you a quick look at the weapon, which uh, pops off right here. You just by squeezing these together. So, this is the weapon, and it was part of a thing called Mech Tech. So, you squeeze this and. the dial and it locks it in place so it becomes a giant cannon of death which I call his um, cosmic rust gun but according to TF wiki it becomes a fusion cannon okay so we're gonna go ahead and get get in transformation we're gonna take this off to the side start with these real uh, real bars, and go ahead and flip these pieces forward. That's that one done. <laughs> I'm gonna come to the sides, lift these pieces up, take this piece, lift that up, fold it in. So, lift this up, and this is gonna peg into that hole. Like so. Come to the back, and you'll. Sp nah. Split right there. Those what will be the legs moving down out of it. Come under here, pop the arms out, and just go ahead and fling them out. Which take gives you oh wait, pose. Bring this up. This is gonna fold in just like so. Lot is gonna peg onto this. Like so. so. Take the legs, go ahead and split them apart, rotate them at the knee. Take the panel that has the Autobot symbol, flip it up, come under here, flip this piece out, 
which will be the little tiny heel spur, and rotate his foot down. So, flip up, rotate the foot around, flip up the heel, flip the foot down. There you have his feet. Here's my camera for feet again. Rotate the arms, go ahead and plug them in. Shoulders, bring them down, take the wheels and peg them, fold them into the chest, and the epic head reveal. And there you have Sentinel Prime. Uh, uh, he wasn't my favorite character in the, sh in the movie. Um, but I like his toy form, um, and I was happy that Leonard Nimoy got to play him. So, uh, this whole kibble here forms his cape, which you can see the rigid interior. Uh, you can tell he has nice light piping, very white. I'm give you a close up of this head sculpt real quick. Made him almost look like Leonard Nimoy. And that was cool. But he has touches of red, silver, maroon, some black. Um, he can hold the weapon. But this little peg right here. the cannon or you can just unhinge it and it can be a little gun so, quick, uh, I like this figure really a lot um, head is on a swivel arms to a full 360 uh, shoulders go in and out swivel above the, uh, the bicep 90 degree bend of the knee, no, uh, no hand, no waist, uh, legs go forward, go out, bit out to the side, very nice ratchet, uh, don't go back because of the cape, swivel above the knee, nice, uh, knee ratchet and some forward and backward ankle motion. Um, and you can also store the weapon in, uh, robot mode. <sighs> just sits nicely on his back. So, oh. makes him a little top-heavy, but... <laughs> there you go. So, there you have it. There is Transformers Dark of the Moon Sentinel Prime. And I'm going to be doing another review in a few minutes. And it's going to be... This one and the other one are both uh, memory dedication videos. I decided I wanted to do them. So, I'll catch you next time.